Good evening. Hello, Maria. Welcome. How are you today, Maria? Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Amazing, Maria. Thank you for joining. Hello, Mari. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Very nice. And That's, you? I'm fine. Nice to have you here, Mari. Thank you for joining. Hello, Jacqueline. How are you? Jacqueline. Hello, Hello teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Jacqueline. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, teacher. That's great. Thank you for joining, Jacqueline. We have Jose. Welcome. How are you doing, Jose? Hello. Um, I'm good. Nice. Thank you for joining. And now we are going to start. Let's see, welcome, Carla. How are you feeling today? Hello, teacher. Um, I am fine. Um, I'm un poco mal de la garganta, teacher. Ah, you have a sore throat. I hope yes. you get better, Carla. Drink some something if you can, and hopefully you feel better. Thank you, teacher. We have Marjorie Belloso. How are you, Marjorie? Okay, welcome everyone. Today we are going to have a speaking class. So you are going to speak as much as possible. So let's begin with the first activity. Welcome, Ronald. How are you? Hi, teacher. I am good. Amazing. Thank you for joining. And hello, Marina. How are you? Hello, teacher. Bye. Very good. Thank you for joining, I Marina. So, we are going to start. Welcome. Thank you for being on time. So, for this first activity, we are going to spin the wheel. And you are going to answer these questions. Okay, you are going to talk about these topics. So the first participant is going to be Carla. Let's begin with Carla. So let's spin the wheel for you, Carla. Thank you. This one. Carla, talk about something that you cooked or ate yesterday. Okay, teacher. Um, I ate yuca mm -hmm. and pizza. Nice. And salad. Yes, salad. So very different things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, did you cook um all these things, uh, the yuca and the salad, or did you buy them? And it's different. Um, the diner, mm -hmm. yuca. In the <clears throat> lunch, salad. Mm -hmm. And the breakfast, pizza. <laughs> For the breakfast, really? <laughs> <laughs> and let me ask you, let's see. Um, and did you cook, for example, the yuca? And yes, uh, I love cook it. Um, but yesterday, um, I... Buy. Ah, okay. so yesterday you bought the yuca. Yes. That's very interesting. Very interesting that you had pizza for breakfast. <laughs> very good, Carla. Thank you for sharing. Now let's choose another participant. Let's go with Jacqueline. So get ready, Jacqueline. Let's spin the wheel for you. Jacqueline, do you have any best friend? Mm -hmm. Someone that you yeah. say? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. Okay, so how did you meet your best friend? Mm -hmm. 
Meet is like, nice to meet you, right? How did you meet your best friend? Meet, meet no sé qué significa. Meet is when you conocer. Like you say, nice mm -hmm. to meet you, gusto de conocer. Meet. Mm -hmm. Mm. Es que no sé cómo contestar. <laughs> Don't worry, give me one idea. Where? Where did you meet? The place. Maybe at your job or in your neighborhood. Mm. Or at church, I don't know, in the park. Where? Where did you meet? Mm. Where you you meet? Mm -hmm. ¿A dónde? ¿A dónde se conocieron? Where means dónde, right? In Joe. Okay, very good. So you can say, we met. Uh, we met. At your job. Mm -hmm. At our job. Very good. At uh, uh, your job. <laughs> at this one, this is the pronunciation. Our. Our job. Our job. Very good. And let's see. And it was how long ago? Hace cuánto? How long ago did you meet? Mm. Maybe. I, two have, mm -hmm. I had two friends. Um, mm. I had my you... friend, uh -huh. Uh -huh. my friend, uh, no sé cómo se le hace 10 años y tengo otra de 20 años. Okay, that's great. You can say, we met 10 years ago, or we met. 20 years ago. With me, with me, uh, 10 years ago. So, and with me, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. Very good, Jacqueline. So, many, many years. That's great. <laughs> I imagine they are very close friends to you. Very good, Jacqueline. Thank you for sharing. Now, who else? Let me ask Jose. Get ready. Let's spin the wheel for Jose. This one, Jose. Um, talk about the last time that you met your friend. Maybe you went to a restaurant or any place. Mm, it was when I was working and some someone mm -hmm. and yelled me and then they asked me about how it what's my name and personal questions and then they helped me how how to speak with the other workers mm -hmm. okay um, very good just one thing in this context meet okay let me let me show you meet can have two meanings meet for example, when you meet someone for the first time. Ese es el primer significado de meet, conocer a alguien. No sabemos quién es, lo conocemos. We meet that person. But the other meaning can be a reunion. For example, if I tell you the last time you met your friend, it means the last time that you had a reunion, una reunión. <clears throat> For example, if I say, 
I will meet my friends at the restaurant. In this case, it means that we are going to have a reunion at the restaurant. Does that make sense? So keep that in mind. It, it has two meanings. In this case, it is about a reunion. So very good, Jose. Thank you for sharing. Now let's go with the next participant. And let's see, this one is going to be for Jenny. This one, Jenny, talk about the last time that you worked or studied till you got very exhausted, like very tired. Um, I think that was yesterday. Uh, I helped my daughter doing a work to the school mm -hmm. and homework to the school, and it was uh, how can I say, como maqueta. Maybe it was. Mm, let's see. Let me search that for you. Keep going, Jenny. Keep sharing. Let me look at that for you. So it was a really big thing that we should go do. So we stay awake mm -hmm. until one one again. And my daughter was going to go to the school mm -hmm. at five a.m. And we just sleep like four hours. And we go to the school and we was very excited about what we did. But yeah, we ended. <laughs> That's really impressive till 1 a.m. And how old is your daughter? It's 15 years old. 15. I imagine you were very, very tired. Yeah, uh, she helped me and we, we, we did it together, but it was really long time that we yes i can imagine jenny and this is how you say you can say mock-up or you can say a model okay mock-up very good thank you jenny for sharing very good job and now guys this was the short speaking activity and now we are going to have a review of this one, the simple past, but of the verb be. So we can practice this one. We already practiced simple past, but with other verbs. Now, with the verb be. So let me ask Ronald, can you read this, please? Yes, teacher. Simple past, verb be. Subject. I am was mm -hmm. we are where you are where they are where he is was she is was and it is was was very good Ronald thanks for reading so as you can see depending on the subject we are going to use was or where. So for I, we use was. For these three, we use where. And for these other three, we use was. So keep that in mind. Now we have affirmative sent sentences. Let me ask. Let's see, Maria, can you read this one, Maria? I'm sorry, this one. Affirmative sentence and the example. Soya was where compliment. Compliment. Very good. The example. I was at my house yesterday. Mm -hmm. He was sick last week. He they were tired from work. From work. Very good, Maria. Thanks for reading. And mm -hmm. as you can see, in this one, we don't use 
did, for example, or any other thing. Just was where, and then a complement. So let me ask this question to Kaylin. Kaylin, according to the structure, what is this, Kaylin? Subject. Very good. This one? Was. Very good. And finally, Kaylin? Compliment. The compliment. Great job. As you can see, it's quite simple. Subject, was, where, and then a compliment. So, do you have any question with this one? Or everything is clear? Okay, so if you don't have questions, you are going to help me with some examples. So for that, let's begin with, let's see, let's go with Maria. Can you give me one example, Maria? One example, affirmative using was or where. I was. I I was. Mm -hmm. Um I was at house yesterday. Yesterday. Very good job, Maria. Very good example. I was at my house yesterday. Now for the next one, let me ask. Jenny, one example, um, affirmative. Um, she were. <laughs> she were um, starting yesterday. Starting yesterday. Okay, very good. Just one thing. She were. Yeah, she was. She was. Yeah. Very good. Was. This one is past continuous. Okay, that's why we are using ING. And this is the past continuous. También podemos usarlo. So just in case, right? If you were wondering, that's why we use ING in this one. So let me ask Marina. Can you give me one example, Marina? In the past. You can do it in the past. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Marina Orellana? Hello? Okay. They were. They were. Very good. No. They were. It, it's. It's breaking a little, Marina. Se corta un poquito. At, at the restaurant. At the restaurant. Very good. At the restaurant. Last. Last, last week. Okay, very good example, Marina. Amazing. They were at the restaurant last week. Very good job. Very good sentences. So if you don't have questions with this one, we can move on to the negative form. So let's move on with negative. Let me show you. Negative. And in this one, let me ask. Let's see, Kaylin, can you read this one and the examples, please, Kaylin? Subject plus was, were, plus no, plus complement. 
plus complement. Very good. The example, Kaylee. I was to know at the bar yesterday. He he was happy in the morning. You weren't at home yesterday. Yesterday. Very good, Kaylin. And as you can see in this one, the only difference is that we have not. And in this one, let's see, let me ask, Jose, are we going to use didn't in this one, Jose? No. No, very good. In this one, we, we don't use didn't. We can say he didn't be, for example. He didn't be, right? We cannot say that. We say he wasn't. That's why the verb be is different. This is the only one that is different. Que no se usa el did. So let's see. And these are some contractions. Wasn't and weren't. So let me ask. Let's see. Let me ask. Rene. Hello, Rene. Welcome. According to the structure, what is this, Rene? Uh, such a teacher. Very good. This one? Quas, um, quas. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. They've ever been in the not, past. Mm -hmm. Not. Very not. good. Finally? Uh, compliment. The compliment. Very good, Rene. So, as you can see, is the same as in the affirmatives, but you add not. That is the only thing. Any questions with this one? Or everything fine? Yes, clear, teacher. Clear, very good, Mari. Thank you. So if you don't have questions, help me with some examples. Let me ask Ronald, can you give me one negative example? Okay, teacher. My um, I was not it pizza yesterday. Yesterday. Okay, very nice nice example. But listen, no, I was not it. This is this is not simple past. Ok. So, ahorita estamos con el simple past. Si decimos, I was not eating, ese ya no es simple past, es past continuous. Entonces, si, right now, let's do simple past. Hagámoslo como en la structure. Was, were not, and a complement. So, Ronald, with another complement in the simple past. So the compliment can be, for example, I was not happy, I was not sad, I was not at the beach, I was not with my friend. Mm -hmm. Can you give me another compliment? Okay, then let me ask. Let's see, Jacqueline, can you give me one sentence, one negative sentence? Jacqueline? I was not, um, was not uh, in the park. Very good. In the in park. The park. Very good. I was not in the park. Amazing example, Jacqueline. Now let me ask Mari de Gonzalez. Can you give me one example using was and where? Okay, teacher. Um, she was saying fat in the school. She wasn't fat. In the school. 
in the school. Very good example, Mari. And the last example, let me ask, let's see. Let's see, Kaylin, can you give me one negative example, Kaylin? You can do it, Kaylee. Just one example. I was not in the supermarket yesterday. Very good. I was not in the supermarket yesterday. Very good examples. Now, if you don't have any question with this one, with the negatives, we go finally with the questions now look at this in the questions let me ask jose can you read this one the structure and then the examples w h word plus was and were plus subject plus complement Example, were you at the doctor yesterday? Where was she last yesterday? Why were you angry? Angry, very good, Jose. So in this one, the WH word is optional. You can ask questions only starting with was and where, like this one, were you at the doctor yesterday? This would be a yes, no question, right? Or you can add a WH, like these two. Now, let me ask Jenny, according to the structure, what is this, Jenny? It's, it's like what's word, it's not WH. Very good, this one? It's the subject. Subject, very good. And finally? Uh, the compliment. <laughs> the compliment, very good, Jenny. That is correct. Now, any question with this one, feel free to ask if you have any doubt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you don't have questions, again, Let's create three more examples using these ones. You can use a WH or only a yes, no question. Both will be fine. So let's begin with Maria. Can you give me one question, Maria, using was and where? Maria Rivera, just one question. Using was and where? You can follow the structure. Okay, then let me ask Carla, can you give me one sentence using one question using this one? Was and where? Um, okay, DJ. Was no, what? <laughs> oh, sorry. What? Mm -hmm. What was? Mm -hmm. She go to the supermarket. Supermarket. What was she go to the supermarket? Okay, nice try. But look at this. What was she going to the supermarket? In this one, we can use, for example, why? Because in this question, ¿Qué estaba ella ir al supermercado? So in this case, you can ask, for example, why? Right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And in this one, why was she 
Porque, ajá. Going. Going. Mm -hmm. Why was she going to the supermarket? But this one is past continuous. Ustedes ya vieron el past continuous, right? Yes. Yes. Okay, so in this one, para no confundirnos ahorita, remember, in past continuous, you add ing. Why was she going? But in the simple past, in the simple past, puede ser un complement normal. For example, why was she at the supermarket? Like that. Why was she at the supermarket? Mm -hmm. So, thank you, Carla. Very nice example in the simple past. Now, let me ask, let's see. Jacqueline, can you give me one example, Jacqueline, using was and where? Why? Mm -hmm. Why where? Mm -hmm. In the school? Why where in the school? Okay. Just one thing. Looking at the structure, what is missing there, Jacqueline? Mm. Why where? The subject, right? Can you give me one subject? They. Very good. Very good, Jacqueline. Why were they in the school? Very good example. And finally, let's see. Rene, can you give me one example using was and where? Okay, teacher. Where was she last week? Last week. Very good. Where was she last week? Very good examples, guys. And let's see, if you don't have any question with this one, we can move on. So we are going to practice a little bit this topic. Just give me one second. This one. So in this one, we are going to listen to a conversation and then we are going to answer these, this quiz. Okay, so get ready. And the first participant is going to be Ronald. Are you ready for number one, Ronald? Okay, teacher. Okay, very good. So let's play number one. Conversation one. How was the movie? It was really good. Was it scary? Yes, it was really scary. Nice. Was it crowded? No, it wasn't. There weren't many people there, surprisingly. Okay, so that is number one. Ronald, how was the movie? Scary or boring? It's scary. Scary. Very good, Ronald. It's a very scary. A very scary. Nice. Great job. Now, number two. This one is for, let me see. For Mari. Are you ready for number two, Mari? Mari de Gonzalez. Okay, okay let's, let's play number two. Conversation two. Where were you last night? I was at work. Really? I was at your shop. You weren't there. No, I was in the back working. You were? Really? I was there. So, where was she last night, Mari? At work, teacher. At work. Very good. Number three. This one is for... Let's see, for, for Marina. Get ready, Marina, for number three. Conversation three. How was the test? 
It was really hard. How long was it? There were about 20 problems. Yeah? What was your score? Let's just say it wasn't great, but it wasn't bad either. So what do you think, Marina? How was the test? Very long or not easy? Marina, what do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, then let me ask. Jose, what do you think? How was the test? Very long or not easy? Mm, not easy. Not easy, very good. She said it was difficult. Very good, Jose. Now, number four. Let's see, number four is goes to Carla. So get ready, Carla, for number four. Okay, teacher. Station four. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so was Sue. Oh. Were Tom and Katie there? No, they weren't there, but their son was. Oh, I see. So, was it fun? Yeah, it was a fun evening. Okay, so who was not there, Carla? Jason and Sue or Tom and Katie? Yes, Jackson and Sue. And Sue? Okay, let's see, let's play, play it again. Conversation one. So we can... Jason was there, so was... Conversation four. Yeah. Do you know who was at the party? Jason was there, so was Sue. Oh, were Tom and Katie there? No, they weren't there, but their son was. So what do you think, Carla? Who was not there? Tom and Katie. Katie. And Katie, very good. They were not at the party. Very good, Carla, and very good, everybody. So this was the short listening activity. And as you could see, this, this, these questions and the sentences were in the simple past. Now let's see the last activity. So in this one, you are going to help me find the correct position for the words. So let's begin with Kayleen. What is the first word, Kayleen? Kayleen or Mel, what do you think? They. Very good. They. Mm -hmm. Very good, perfect. That was very fast, Kayleen. Number two, this goes to Jacqueline. What do you think? Susan. Mm, was lap? Was sleepy last Wednesday. Very good, Jacqueline. Now this one, number three for Rene. What do you think? Okay, teacher. Um... The the mm -hmm. the children very good the children weren't mm -hmm. excited yesterday morning very good Rene perfect number four let's go with Mari de González, what do you think? My sister. 
teacher, what's the meaning moon? Mom is the same as mom. Only that in, in this one is in British English. So this is like American English. And mom is British English. But it's the same thing. It's the same meaning. Okay, teacher. This is mom. Mm -hmm. My mom. And my sister. And my sister, very good. We're in the kitchen. In, in the, the kitchen. kitchen. Very good, Manny. That is correct. Perfect. Number five goes to Maria Rivera. What do you think, Maria? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Maria. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maria. What? What? Very good. Mm -hmm. after. Was after him? In the supermarket yesterday. Okay, so this one was. Was. Hmm? So, Mary was in the supermarket yesterday. yesterday afternoon. Very good, Maria. Thank you. And the last one, this one goes to Jose. What do you think in this one, Jose? I was at home yesterday. Very good. At home yesterday. Amazing job, guys. You did perfect. And finally, we go with more speaking activities. So, this one. So, in this one, I'm going to show you the card. And you are going to share as much information you are going to speak as much as you can. This one goes to, let's see, let's begin with Jenny. Jenny, talk about what you last saw at the cinema. The last movie that you saw at the cinema. Um, the last movie I saw at the cinema, um, it was Barbie. Mm -hmm. Um, I I think that almost everyone see that movie. <laughs> uh, it yes. was very famous. I see a lot of girls and boys wearing wearing pink clothes, and mm -hmm. it was a really beautiful movie. Yes, and I imagine it was. It was a great experience to see everyone wearing pink, right? Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. And let me ask you, was it a good movie? Was it funny? Was it interesting? What do you think? For me, it was like everything. It was funny, it was like sad and sometimes and after you realize about things. It was a very cool movie. Yeah, so many things, right? Happy, sad, funny, very good. Yeah. And let me ask you, who did you go with? Uh, I went with my daughter and my husband. Okay, great. So with your family, that's nice. Yeah. And let's see the last thing. 
did you wear pink with your husband and, and daughter? The three of you uh, wore pink? It, it was a pity because we couldn't go like pink mm -hmm. because we didn't expect to go to the cinema that day. Okay, so it was like, like a spontaneous. You didn't plan yeah. to go. Okay. Yeah. Okay, very good. Very good, Jenny. Thank you so much for sharing. Amazing job. Choose the next participant. Can you choose the next participant, Jenny? Um, Maria. Maria, very good. So let's go with Maria Rivera. This one is for you, Maria. Talk about what you cooked or ate yesterday. Okay, I can help you. Don't worry. You can say, for example, I cooked. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned the food, for example, I cooked maybe chicken. Okay, many, don't worry. You can say I cooked and then the food, only that, just one sentence. I cooked chicken, I cooked the meat. Very good. I cooked meat. Very good job. I cooked meat. Thank you, Maria. Nice okay. job. And the next one. Let's see. This one goes to, let's see. Let's go with Carla. Talk about your favorite memory when you were a teen. Okay, teacher. Um, I like play in the trees. Mm -hmm. um, I like um, go to the school. Mm -hmm. Um, eat ice cream. Ice cream, great. And, and let me ask you, what was your favorite ice cream flavor? And lemon. Lemon, yes, that's a good one. And let me ask you, did you have many friends when you were a teen? Yes, I... Mm. Well, fights and friends, mm -hmm. and actually, todavía son mis amigas. Oh, that's nice. So you can say they are still my friends. They are still my friends. That's nice that you're still friends. And let me ask you, how did you meet your friends? Um, in the kindergarten. In the kindergarten, so many years ago. Yes. Oh, that's really, it's really nice that you are still friends. So how long, um, how long ago did you meet them? Tw 10 years ago, 15? Mm -hmm. uh, 20 years ago. 20 years ago. So yes, that's a long friendship. Very good, Carla. Amazing job. 
Can you choose the next participant, please? Carla, choose the next participant. Oh, Kaylin. Kaylin, very good. So let's go with Kaylin. Kaylin, let me ask you. Kaylin, talk about the last time that you met your friends, that you had a reunion with your friends, like a party or, or maybe you went to a restaurant anything or to the cinema you can give me just one sentence Kaylin don't worry you can tell me for example I met my friends at the restaurant for example you can change the place if you want to I met my friends at, mm -hmm. just one sentence, Kaylin, you can do it. I met my friends Okay, then, let's go with, mm, let me ask Rene. Rene, talk about the last time that you had a reunion with your friends. <laughs> Um, and last night, teacher. Last night. And let yes. me ask you, where did you go with your friends? Um, in my, in my, in my job, teacher. Ah, so in your job. And let yes, me ask teacher. you. Yes, um, teacher. Yeah. Did you, uh -huh, go ahead. I always, uh, os, bueno, siempre estoy con ellos, teacher. Okay, so that's nice. You can say, I am always with them. Okay, teacher. I am always with them. Very good. And let me ask you, how long ago did you meet? For example, 10 years ago, 20 years ago. How long ago? Uh, um, well, it, como se dice un año, teacher, se me vio. One year. One year, teacher. Mm -hmm. So you can say, we met one year we ago. We met one year ago. One year ago, very good. And let me ask you, and yesterday, did you, did you have dinner with them together? Yes, teacher, um, breakfast, lunch, and dinner también. And dinner. That's yes, nice. Teacher. So I imagine that you are very close friends, cercanos. You are very close friends with them. No, teacher. Not not that uh, much. Only friends. Yes, teacher. Um, okay. She, yes. Okay, very good. That's nice. Very good, Lynette. Thanks for sharing. Now choose the next participant. Um, sería Jose Sura, teacher. Jose, very good. Thank you, Lynette. So let's go with Jose. Jose, let's see. This one. Jose, talk about your best friend when you were a child. Mm, my best friend name was Pablo and Mm -hmm. He was my, my best friend because um, he tried to be happy with me. Mm -hmm. 
and he shared a lot of moment happy moments and things that I I I'm not going to forget. That's nice. That's very nice. And let me ask you, are you still friends with Pablo? Repeat. Are you still friends with Pablo? Todavía son friends? Are you still friends with Pablo? No, because I don't know about him. And let me ask you, um, how long ago did you meet Pablo? Maybe 20 years ago. How long ago was he your friend? Four years ago. In Four years the ago? In school. In the school. So it wasn't such a long time. Four years. Yes. Four years. Four years. Very good, Jose. Thank you for sharing. And now we are about to finish. Thank you for participating, everyone. You did a very good job. So now we are about to finish. So before we go, just a couple of things. Okay, so remember, if I say, for example, if I say I like, To the park, for example. What is missing in this sentence? Who remembers? What is missing in this one? Who can tell me? Jenny, what do you think? What is missing in this one? I like to go to the to the park. To, to go to, to the park and to. Very good. Two. Very good, Jenny. So remember, after like, always use to. In the present, in the past, always. I like to go to the park. And also, don't forget to practice the past of the verbs. For example, the past of see is so. So if you say, I saw, in the past, you can say, I saw my friend, for example. So we only need to practice some of the verbs in the past, but you did a very, very good job. So do you have questions before we go or everything's fine? Everything is fine, teacher. Okay, very good, Manny, thank you. So if you don't have questions, guys, thank you for joining and see you, yes, see you tomorrow. Okay, teacher, good night. Good night. Remember, we have class tomorrow, so if you can, join the class. Bye-bye, guys. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you.